Over the past week or so, I've been trying to figure out a way to record MIDI sent from Notion 5 to Logic Pro X on two different MIDI ports. There's a way to do it uh, using the Logic Pro X MIDI environment and the various uh, objects in there. It requires signal routing and uh, it's a rather complex procedure. And uh, the way it works so far is that you can only record one virtual MIDI cable and its respective instruments at a time. So it's a rather involved procedure. Um, after thinking about it for a while, I've found another way to do it that's just very simple. In Logic Pro X, one MIDI port comes in and everything's done pretty much automatically. So what you can do um, is you create some instruments and you assign some of them to the same channels. So for example, uh, I've got an electric piano assigned to channel 1. I have a B3 organ assigned to channel 2. But then I've got a, a bass assigned to channel 1 and a Peruvian pan pipes assigned to channel 2. Now the trick to this is that um, over in the Notion project and Notion preferences in the MIDI pane, you only assign one virtual MIDI cable. And, and at the present time, it's assigned to port A. So this is the IAC driver, IAC bus one, virtual MIDI cable, and it's assigned to port A. So only the MIDI coming from the external MIDI staves that are assigned to MIDI port A, channel one and two, are going to be sent over to Logic Pro. And the other part of it is uh, you need to select the instruments that you want to record. This is important. And you want to enable them for recording. And then now we'll record these two instruments. Okay, and that's uh, fine. Uh, it stops here because there's no uh, music notation at that point. And so the next thing you do is you want to delete this pointer MIDI region. And then uh, you want to ensure that this MIDI region is positioned on the track that you selected first. And that's important because we're going to right click on it, separate by MIDI channel, and then it nicely puts it on the other track. Okay, so we got that part done. And now we're going to unselect those. We're, we're going to select the next two instruments. We're going to record enable them. And we're going to rewind. And then we're going to switch over to Notion. And what we want to do now is we want to record the music notation that's on these two external MIDI staves that are going to MIDI port B channel 1. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Notion Preferences. And we're going to move the IAC driver, IAC bus 1, to MIDI port B. And we're going to close that. We're going to then save the Notion project, and we're going to close Notion. And the reason we do that is because uh, it's a rewire session, and we don't want to get the rewire infrastructure confused, so we're going to restart Notion. It's okay to leave Logic Pro running. And what this does is this uh, makes the preferences uh, 
specific and it's all going to be good and so what we're going to do now is we're going to record uh, the bass and the Peruvian pan pipes back over here and get everything lined up again and now uh, we want to delete this MIDI, re uh, MIDI region because uh, it's just a pointer and uh, uh, see if I do if I've got this figured out right uh, what we want to do is we actually want to move this up one so that it's on the Base, which is channel one, and if I did it right, then I want to do this uh, split. Okay, well, I didn't do it right, so let me undo that, and I'll put that down here. Try it that way. Did I get it? Well, it's, it's down here. And so I'll just move it up to here. I'm still working on this. It's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. And so let's see. Let's see how that sounds. And so that's working and uh, it's you know if you experiment with it a little bit you can figure out how to get them split so that they uh, show up in the right places yeah and if you uh, look at the notion project uh, Kind of start this about right here. Yeah, and so you can see that that's working, and it's a uh, uh, considerably easier than uh, messing with all the uh, graphic signal routing and cabling in the Logic Pro X MIDI environment. You, you can do it both ways, but uh, I think this is a lot easier. And uh, with a little bit of practice, and uh, you know, it becomes easier to figure out how to split the MIDI regions and which ones to put in the right places. And so it's all good. Thanks.